Okay, kids, I got something new. Normally, I don't show off packaging, but when it's something new, I figure, you know, it's worth taking a look at. This is from Boss Fight. Um, now, Boss Fight Studios make uh, Vertuian hacks. I have like three of them. Okay, long story. I'm going to try to make sure. I know I ramble. I'm sorry, guys. That's just who I am. Let me be me. I'm at a Jersey toy show called Toy Con about four or five years ago. I see these little G.I. Joe size, maybe to live a little smaller. Awesome detail, bunch of accessories, reminded me of like Dungeons and Dragons meets Lord of the Rings, but its own vibe. I bought a little knight, a little skull dude, really pumped. Walk around the corner, I see a... Uh, like um, prototypes, with a, with a few finished figures, but prototypes as to what's going to be on sale. It was Mythic Legions, and, you know, unfortunately, 6-inch is more popular now. That's just the way trends are. And these guys finally said, you know what, let's make 6-inch figures. They're still making their small ones. I know they make Zoro still, and they make some others. Really awesome stuff, but I'm a 6-incher. I love the old 6-inch. You know, take that as you want. Um, this is called Epic Hacks. So this is a six-inch scale figure. I'm going to bust that out. I figure, unlike the, the smaller ones, um, those that's collector-friendly packaging where you could reseal it. These you cannot. You got to rip out of here. And as you can see in the bottom left, they make a few others. This is my favorite of the four. I think they're all cool. And depending how I feel about this guy, once I open them, maybe I'll get some more. I know in Wave 2, they're going to have like a, a luchador, which looks, looks incredible. And it's fun. You know, like, why not have some fun? Not everything has to be medieval. But this was smart because we're going to see if it can blend in with Mythic Legions. I have some of them on hand. And we will do that next. Okay, so right off the bat, <laughs> I like that he comes with a stand. You know, Valiverse comes with stands. These guys always have came with stands. McFarlane comes with stands. Just It just should be a, a, I don't know. I think these companies need to go out of their way now to get our money. There's so many fantastic lines out there. So many fantastic figures out there. They got to start going a little extra mile to get our money. So having a stand kind of shows that you care. Did come with these little feet that I'm not going to use. Because I like the way the boots look. The skeleton has like um, Jason in the Argonauts vibe. Henry, Harry, Hausen, I forget his last name. Love the guy, love his work though. Has that kind of vibe. Whereas a Mythic Legion, which is just way bigger than this guy. Has, uh, oh there he goes. Mythic Legions are like sturdier and beefier of a skeleton. That makes any sense a beefier skeleton which that does not make sense this is like a bony skeleton I, I, I know it sounds dumb um but that just best way i can explain it the knees were double jointed elbows are a single joint you can get them in the t-pose this helmet pops off which is cool you can get this all you can get them off and get them down to his butt bare naked which i might do for a custom i might use this guy for a custom and that's a secret you know what i like the figure i think it's cool i don't know uh about price point it's tough because if you're already getting legions are you going to dive into a line that is just skeletons and doesn't the uh Fush, robo i think he makes skeletons as well I don't know if they're late to the party again. That's why that um, that luchador is so cool. I think you got to think outside the box, like have a firefighter skeleton, or you know, cop skeleton, garbage man skeleton, army soldier skeleton. Don't just go, um, you know, swords and magic characters and stuff like that. But. I think these are worth purchasing one and then seeing how it goes from there. I do like this purchase. I think, though, I'm going to mix him 
Well, I bought two Dead Man figures from McFarlane. I'm going to try to mix them into that to make a classic looking Dead Man. Um, comes with a little, this isn't a mace, is this a mace when it's still spiked like that? I guess it's still a mace. Comes with a nice broadsword, looks like a two-handed sword. Um, I like the helmet. Am I blown away by this? Like, oh my God, you got to run out and grab it. No, because I have Mythic Legions. I have a bunch of them, and I have a bunch of their skeleton characters. But I do think I would get another one of these. I, I don't know. It's tough. It's tough. I got to watch where I'm spending because I went crazy last year, and I can't get into just buying everything that looks cool. And this does look cool. The more I'm staring at it, just sitting there, because it has that... Classic skeleton look, you know? Like, as cool as Mythic Legions are, the, the bones are kind of thicker. Where this is like that coming out of the ground, looking all janky in the animation. Like the old, uh, Jesus, that guy's name. Harry freaking something. I know one of you guys will make fun of me. I got a lot on my mind, kids, all right? I got a lot going on. So is this a gain? I, I would say, yeah. I, like I said, I would grab one. If I were you, go on, I got this on Big Bad Toy Store. Take your pick. Wave 2 is already up for pre-order. And, uh, yeah, look at that guy. He's cool. Take care. Have fun.